tenth mass uprising day. Sir, in the Resolution distributed on the Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming in solidarity with Tibet and other nations of the world that are under the force of oppression right now to raise flags and, and express our solidarity with what is truly right in the world. We compassionate Tibetan national anthem as we raise the Tibetan flag here to join the others here of California, Santa Barbara, and the United States of America. This was a Tibetan flag. I know where it is, but it's all about it. It's all about Tibetan flag. This one, this one. Dude, flag log I saw this. Rinpoche Thepo Tulku, the founder of Santa Barbara Stone for Tibet, as well as the Santa Barbara Friends for Tibet, and many other Tibetan organizations. Please. Sir. Uh, March 10, 1959, is a very important date for the Tibetan people. This year, 
marks the 63rd anniversary of Tibetan national uprising of the Tibetan people against the communist Chinese occupation of our homeland. Around the world, Tibetans and their supporters remember the prayer tribute to all those who have sacrificed their lives for Tibetans struggle. An estimated 1 million Tibetans have perished and 98% monasteries, nunneries have been destroyed under communist Chinese rule. On this day in 1959, the Tibetan people in Kasa, and just as Ukraine is being invaded by Russia, we must remember China did the same 70 years ago in Tibet. Let us all hope and pray that China and Russia do not succeed and that people who need freedom like a Uyghur, Hong Kong, Taiwanese, Ukrainian and Tibet will be free. Thank you for coming today. Uh, we should take this opportunity to thank Santa Baba Board of Supervisors and especially Honorable Das Williams who dedicated all the to the support for Tibet and human rights and environmental very uh, special for the uh, honor to be here here. Thank you, I appreciate for that. And also I really appreciate for the uh, support by the independent leaders, uh, Reverend Julie Hamilton's here, and also here Nancy Martin from the representative from the United Nations, Santa Baba chapters, and also also from the people from the Santa Baba County and World Wishes. Thank you so much and keep your prayer in your heart to world peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an honor to sponsor uh, this effort and this resolution. Um, the Board of Supervisors uh, passed this past Tuesday uh, the resolution that I hold in my hand. And, you know, I, I think this is a pretty important time uh, in our own history as Americans to really think about who, who we are, right? Uh, and that um, we see people that are struggling to help uphold our values and way of life, our uh, uh, you know, principles of toleration uh, uh, as exemplified by the Tibetan people and the principles of democracy as exemplified by the struggle of the Ukrainian people for uh, a democratic form of government. Um, and I think through struggle and resistance, um, I think the Tibetan people, and we see now on the news, the Ukrainian people very much define themselves and show us who they are through their defiance and their strength in the, in the face of, of adversity. Tepo can tell you the struggles of living in exile, and there are even more terrifying examples of people he knows who have had to endure detention. And so I, I think it's a lot about when, when we see this flag, uh, I want county employees and I want members of the public to have to think about who we are, right? What will we be defined? And in China, it is even in many ways more pronounced. Uh, the, the, the oppression uh, of the Tibetan people and now the Uyghur people and every minority really in, in the People's Republic and even um, in Hong Kong where you can be arrested just by having the wrong color mask, um, uh, really. introduce now another leader in our community, a wonderful interfaith leader from the University of West Unitarian Society here in Santa Barbara. We worked for many years together and uh, uh, showing up also in past struggles for standing rock with people there. So this is Ju Julia Hamilton, Governor Julia. Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. And th thank you for your words and especially for the reminder that we can't 
consume our way to freedom. There's another way, um, the way that has been shared by His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the way of compassion. And I want to thank Teppo so much for his work sharing the message of His Holiness here in this community and the message of the Tibetan people um, just tirelessly to help lift up your, um, your culture in exile. And it is a gift to this community that the Santa Barbara Summit for Tibet uh, and all of the folks who work with you continue year after year under very difficult circumstances. And I would like to invite you all into a moment of prayer, of reflection, a chance to lift our hearts towards liberation, to acknowledge that we share these values of love and liberation across all of our traditions, that every human being longs for freedom, and that we are here to put love in action to support and uplift that longing for freedom so that it can become reality. Reality for the people of Tibet, reality for the Uyghurs, reality for the people of Ukraine who are struggling right now for their own liberation. All the while reminded that love and compassion is the way that will make liberation the state in which we exist. That war destroys so much, destroys families and lives, uh, and compassion is the healing process after and so we're here for that, so that we all may be united in love. May it be so. Blessed be and amen. co-chair of the relatively new affinity group um, to the UN Human Rights Council. So that's the UNA USA Human Rights Affinity Group. And so um, as co-chair, we're constantly thinking, how can we teach? Um, what can we do to support human rights? And I'm so honored to be allowed to say something today because Tibet is a gift to the world that keeps on giving. Um, and I know it's just what we don't want. We don't want cultures and religions and ethnicities destroyed. We love all of those. And we want everyone to help their human rights and celebrate. Um, but when the Chinese chased out the Tibetans, it gave a gift to the world because Tibetans have been teaching us about patience, kindness, compassion, love, perseverance. And I know they'll continue to teach us that. And so it's a great honor to share this day with the Tibetans in our community and all over the world. And also to um, hope and pray and um, speak out for all people all over the world who lack their human rights. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Nancy, for all the work of the UNA. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, 
Well, isn't that uh, the, the strength of ecumenism, right? Ecumenism, right? Is, is the commonality. Masala tea. Yeah, but I um, the, uh, uh, yes, I uh, manifesto. You read it all the way through.